What's up guys, Hong Lee and OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel, subscribe if you haven't. Okay, let's get in. Today, I'm going to answer a question from John Smith. Here's the question. Um, how do you practice judo for five years? You never moved? Uh, I'm having a hard time trying to keep up because I've moved and the nearest dojo is like five, hour, five hours drive away. Thinking about making a home gym, but I have no partner to Randori. Any advice? And how do you make time to train while working nine to five? Regarding the first question, uh, John, so thanks for your question. Uh, how do you practice judo for five years? Uh, you never move, so I'm guessing what you mean by that is that how is it that you were able to practice for five years? Not everybody moves that often. Uh, you know, I myself, like in, but in the past five years, since I started judo, so it's been about five years now, I only moved once. Also, I'm in Montreal, Canada, right? There's a lot of freaking clubs here. Like I live in a, I live in a, a, a biggish city, a pretty big, uh, you know, in, in Quebec. It's a big, uh, big island, big city. So there's a lot of judo clubs. So even if I move around a little bit uh, on the island of Montreal, I mean, there's, there's clubs all over the place. This is my third club. I started at a club. Um, my first club I was at closed. And then I went to another club that was nearby in that area. That club essentially uh, I decided not to stay because uh, it wasn't what I was looking for. I needed uh, a club that was a little bit more um, uh, competitive and that was uh, where the coaches would actually follow you a little bit more uh, when it comes to competition. So I, I left and then I, I found a club uh, where I'm training at now where it's closer to home and also like the coaches who's my coach now a two-time olympian and he follows his athletes so I'm, I'm really happy about that so that's where i am now okay nearest dojo is five hours away obviously you're not going to drive five hours to go to a training for a one hour and a half two hour training session that's insane now thinking of making a home gym home gym is great stay in shape and all that now no partner to randori any advice if the closest school was five five hours away Maybe you can find, if there's a club, uh, yeah, you're technically screwed for judo. Unless, unless you, you're into grappling and the next best thing would be maybe BJJ, wrestling, sambo, something like that. If there's, there's something like that close by. If not, home gym is great, but you would have to find, um, what do you call it, a, uh, a partner. Because you can't really train these things alone. Uh, boxing, Muay Thai, you could do shadow, you could have a bag and stuff like that, you could watch videos. But uh, when it comes to grappling, if you don't have a partner, you, you can't train. You know, I know they, they have like uh, BJJ grappling dummies now, you know, like they're kind of like the knees are bent like this and they, they kind of, you know, so you can do things. But man, you know, it's, it's just not the same as having a real person. So I, what I would suggest is that if you have uh, neighbors, you know, you live in an area where there's people, like it's not like you live, uh, you're isolated and the closest person is like a couple of miles away, then you gotta get to know your neighbors and make friends in that area, man, who have uh, common interests. And then if you set up that gym, then yeah, then you guys could practice together. That would be what I would do, definitely. Like if I really wanted to train and I had nobody to train with, uh, and I had a home gym that I could set up, I would go find somebody in the neighborhood who's interested and, or, or ideally somebody who actually has experience and is interested in, in training with me, then I would do that. How do I make time to train while working nine to five? Well, pretty simple. Because now I work for myself, I'm an online trainer, so I control my own schedule. I could train anytime I want, but that doesn't mean that I could train anytime I want, if that makes sense. Because when you work for yourself, you still have to keep a schedule. Like if you, you don't want to go out of business, <laughs> you want to keep a schedule uh, you know, like opening hours and working hours and all that. And then you start on time and you finish on time. Sometimes you might go over, but that's, that's, that's part of uh, being working for yourself. But you gotta, you have to have times. And me, I prioritize my training in, in judo because that's my whole thing. It's, it's, it's who I am. It's what I want to uh, achieve. Like go get my black belt when this, uh, when this pandemic opens up. And of course, go get a world title, national title, win some titles, you know, and then compete until until I can't compete no more. Judos would be every Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday. So I would just block off those times because I work for myself so I could block. But th those classes usually start like at 7.30 in the evening. Let's say my, my schedule was nine to five, then I have ample time to you know, go in the evening. If, if that's what your question is, right? Even when I was 
working a job, same thing. Like I would work from nine to, you know, whatever time, three, four, five, and then after that, I'd go home and I would go train afterwards, whether that be in BJJ or in Judo. That's your answer. I hope that made sense, John. And uh, if you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on anything, or maybe I misunderstood the question, then you can ask it again. And uh, if you send me an email, it'll be faster. If you put it in the comments, well, when I fall on it, when I read it, then yeah, I'll answer your question, make a video and all that good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.